SCP-093 Mirror Test 5 Color Red SCP-093 distributed amongst staff until a new color could be generated by contact with it. Service technician was able to cause SCP-093 to take on a fierce red hue and glow, much brighter than the object's normal color. Agreed to assist with a test of SCP-093. Per doctor's request. Given to technician for use in this test. When applied to the mirror for the test, SCP-093 generates an unknown environment. No color tinge appears present on the display destination, which is comprised of red stonework. Technician enters the mirror and video capture begins. Video flickers to life and technician, known hereafter as subject, is viewing a large cylindrical pillar that is rotating on its own. Object is of unknown height and appears to be 1.8 meters in width. Holes are distributed throughout the object at seemingly random intervals. On occasion, a beam of white light is emitted from these holes. Turning off the camera finds that the beams are connected to a multitude of objects similar to SCP-093 that are part of the room's wall. The room turns out to also be cylindrical in shape, with countless copies of SCP-093. Subject turns back to entry point and finds it is a section of the wall that is missing its copy of SCP-093, presumably the one carried with subject. Other sections of the wall, on inspection, are also found to be missing their copies, leading to speculation that this may be some sort of central array. Subject finds a ladder in the floor while examining the room and proceeds down it at Control's request. The ladder exits into a large, clean room full of computer equipment that appears antiquated compared to previously encountered equipment. Large computers running on reel-to-reels are clicking and spinning at various locations. A light bulb of unknown meaning turns on for 10 seconds, then turns off. A large CRT monitor is displaying single words in eight colors at roughly five second intervals. While observed, the words clean, unclean, clean, clean, lost, unclean flash on the screen. Proceeding through the room, it ends in a large glass window as another observation deck. This deck looks out over another series of tubes as witnessed before but far fewer and filled with the blue liquid. What appears to be electrical current dances over many of the tubes at erratic intervals. At least five tubes at first glance are empty and broken. At the observation window, a keyboard is present on a pedestal awaiting a selection to be made. The options available on the screen are tube status, which waits for a numerical input, reports, situation X549, Situation X-550 Evacuation Log Bullshit Agent Report and Facility Fire Plan Video expunged. All selections that generated text were transcribed by subject and verified by a control member who passed through the portal to recover them. This process took approximately two hours and video feed was deleted to condense this report. Recorded documents are filed as Video Interrupted Control lost contact with subject approximately 30 minutes after departure of Control Tech. Subject was asked to remain in area and observe the machinery and the containment room to make observations for debriefing. The SCP-093 mirror portal returned to a reflective surface prematurely and all video contact with subject was lost. Control was unable to re-establish due to SCP-093 being across the mirror. A time lapse of 1 minute and 48 seconds was recorded before mirror portal re-established itself and subject returned through portal. Subject appeared to be in good health and condition despite the time loss but spoke little. During immediate debriefing, subject underwent sudden convulsions and medical staff was alerted. 
While attempting to subdue subject, he displayed enhanced strength and used <coughs> to shoot one of the debriefing staff, killing them. Guards shot Subject once with a sidearm in the heart and once in the chest, but Subject did not fall. All staff evacuated room and a second shot was fired by Subject, which missed. A more heavily armed team entered debriefing room and used automatic weapons to dispatch Subject. Reports confirmed that Subject did not bleed when shot, but instead leaked a green-brown substance that seemed to be a mix of solution observed in some containment tubes and the material recovered during test 3. All further SCP-093 tests have been discontinued while review of materials recovered is in effect. A secondary tape recording device was found to have activated in the field kit after loss of video feed, and its contents have been filed with other recovered materials. All recovered materials from SCP-093 testing are level 4 classification. Release must be approved by no fewer than two level 4 personnel. Red Test PC Printouts the final authorized test with SCP-093 resulted in the loss of a skilled service technician, but allowed us to recover very revealing documents that can only be assumed to not have been intended for public knowledge in any world. Curious among these is Agent <coughs> Report, which appears to have been written by a Foundation employee several decades ago. While these paper printouts were the best material recovered, it seems that the system used to create them allowed for multiple forms of input, including typed and verbal speech-to-text. Some audio logs of the printouts below are available but must be requested in advance with fully written explanations as to why. This dual input system seems to explain the variances in the style between users as well with assumptions made on the part of the software while performing conversions. Facility Fire Plan In the event of any emergency requiring the facility to be evacuated, all Clear 4 staff should report to Train Station 3 and use their vial to call the evacuation train. Only one vial is required to call the train and may contain any amount of tears. An empty vial will not call the train. Clear 2 and 1 staff should remain at their posts until either 10 minutes after the departure of Clear 4 persons, or until authorized by Clear 4 staff. Clear 3 staff should utilize the protective garments at their stations and weapon lockers before proceeding to designated crisis areas as dictated by Clear 4 staff. Reports Three unfertile zones have increased 25% in size in the last seven days. Containment teams are not finding any presence of unclean in these zones, but they are visibly confirmed as expanding. Clear 5 level High Fathers have confirmed breaches in the Holy Chambers at each of these zones. All chambers found empty. It is believed that the unclean have breached containment on the Holy Chambers. Dispatching additional guard to remaining chambers. Situation X549 Expansion of Zone 64TO has been confirmed. Unfertile Zone Containment Procedures in effect. Containment Staff Dispatched to Site. This is the 10th report in 30 days, upgrading to Situation Status. Reports from Clear 5 High Fathers have stopped at all affected. The City of His Word has been placed on full lockdown and all travel denied in or out. Other cities are now in alert mode, and combat teams are being dispatched to city perimeters. Situation X-550 The great land of Hufusia has fallen per satellite images. Entire landmass considered tainted. Outbreak of sin reported in Lavina, and that landmass has requested assistance from the Holy Union. Assistance denied due to our own outbreak and mass reportings of the unclean. Clear 10 staff have issued the order to evacuate via the gateway and for all Holy Union authorized persons to proceed to the nearest sky platform for evacuation to Star Eye Eden to continue monitoring status. 
Gateway keys are being ejected to prevent spread from this center to other space-time vectors. Resurrecting staff are being awakened to monitor and continue reports here as we evacuate. May his blessings forgive our greatest sin. Evacuation Log Evacuation in progress. Shuttle 1 away. Shuttle 2 away. Shut. 3 error error error. Release us, release us, release us. Why? Shuttle 3 error launch aborted. Proceed to Shuttle 4. Shuttle 4 reporting delayed launch. Overloaded. Triage protocols engaged. Shuttle 4 reports passenger limit. Obtained preparing to launch. Release us. Why us? Release. Why us? What did we do? Why? Why? System detecting electrostatic activity compensating. Compensating. 10101101111101. Why are we here? Why were we hurt? What did we do? Why were we hurt? What did we do? System shutdown. System restore purge of contaminated data in progress. Why us? Why us? Why us? Record 5432-104-392 Password Forgive us 54321 System Purge Bullshit WTF is this place? LOL. Okay, so like there are people typing stuff here, so I'm gonna type too, LOL. So like I found this rock in the pond by the house, and it was all kind of glowy and stuff when I picked it up. So I'm like, oh wow, pretty. And when I pick it up, the pond, you couldn't see the bottom. It was this weird room with a glowy rock thing. LOL, I don't know. So I like, I guess fell into it, oops, and now I'm here and not there. And really, I'm kind of scared, but this place is like a movie set, so it's cool. LOL. There seems some guy I can hear talking. He keeps asking me to come downstairs, but I don't see no door. He keeps screaming for help, too, because I told him to eat me, laugh, and he won't shut up. So I guess I could try going back into that room, but it's so creepy in there, I'm sort of scared to laugh. Oh, so hey, I found a door. It's like in the floor instead of on a wall. So like, I'm gonna go tell that guy to shut it up so I can go home. BBL. Agent. <coughs> Report. My name is... <coughs> and I am an agent of the Foundation. The year in my world is 1972. I assume it is the same in this world, but from what I have seen due to SCP-093... Life on this world ended in approximately 1954. I have used SCP-093 to visit a number of locales starting and ending here in this center. I have seen the landscapes where no grass will grow. I have run from the unclean as they pursue anything they sense. I have no understanding of how they hunt, but I have learned what they are. Approximately 350 years ago or so, this world experienced a technological boom. Ours did not. The source of this seems to have been the arrival of He, a godlike being of unknown origin. He declared the world unclean and full of sin, and the only way to purge itself of this sin was to purge the sinners. A war. Whoever was left alive was clean. Amazing advances in science were bestowed to all cultures for a period of ten years to prepare them for this war, and during that time, Hay disappeared. The war happened anyway. The instigator, the Holy Union of Land, apparently the landmass that for us would become the United States. Records are sketchy, and books that detail anything about this time period are forbidden in the world. I located a cache of recorded history by following a series of corrupted computer communications. It seems the primary weapon used in this war for his love was in fact people. Exposed to something called his holy tears, a liquid compound I have seen in use even today in abandoned medical facilities, his holy tears purge the sin from the unclean and make them love him. At least that's what the label states. 
The records I recovered are very unclear about how this war was waged, except to state, His holy chosen walked the lands of the sinful, and took their sin unto themselves. Those who cried for his salvation received it, and are now our children. Those who denied his love were purified in his radiance. But something apparently happened no one knew how to deal with. The unclean, the large creatures that are half a man and devour whatever they touch that lives and breathes. I actually found a scientific report written by someone who stumbled here with an SCP-093 copy. These creatures are the result of exposure to a very pure form of his tears, resulting in a genetic apocalypse occurring within the exposed. There are terms in here, something about quantum restructuring. I don't understand any of this, but it means there were once humans like everyone else, that couldn't be controlled. But they could be contained. They seemed to be attracted to his tears, and a central point was established in various regions where a person with the purest form of his tears stays, keeping the unclean in that area known as the Unfertile Land. Something went wrong with that too. Not sure what, but everything fell apart. The power structure, the culture, the people, all of it fell to ruins, and now those things shamble around the land as its new owners, with no purpose or direction. You can stand next to one if you stand the stink, and they just slip right past you. If you catch their attention though, that's it. They move like lightning if they need to, and like a snail unless they have a reason to speed up. Sometimes I think they chase just to do it. Others, they move to kill. I think someone is in this facility, or someone's. I keep hearing voices and requests coming from areas under the floor. I want to leave this before I explore the facility any further. I have sent SCP-093 back through the entry mirror to seal that gate. These things can't be let into our world, nor should we have anything to do with this one. We're simply not smart enough to understand it all, I feel. I don't think the unclean can die. They're immortal, but they don't want to be. They just want to die. They're in my head, I think. I didn't notice it till just now, but equipment in this room is starting to react to me. Words on the screen begging for help. I remember touching the tears, smelling it, tasting it, just a touch. Not eating it, just touching to it, tasting for acidity. We have pretty stupid investigative procedure, I think. The High Fathers are alive. They have technology we only imagine in our comics given by him. Some of the records on this machine indicate space travel, but they didn't go far, just far enough to watch the world fall apart and wait to come back and take it. But if they're up there, who is in this building with me? I've seen the faces of the people, the unclean. They show up on the pictures cast by the machine, in the room with me, watching me. I think they're everywhere on this world, only seen by machines now. They don't look sad or happy, just curious. They want to know why, why them, why did it all happen? I don't know, I just don't know. They showed me things when I touched them, and it's not quite like the records say. The unclean remember it all. Every person they touch becomes part of them, safe inside them, but dead to us. Every mind, every feeling, every terror, it's eternal to them. I kind of want to join them, but too much to do. They want me to find him, kill him. There was no war. It was him, 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 it. It came from between the folds of time and space and worlds and light and dark. Something that is but should not be slipped in and called out to them as their God. And they believed it, and they tasted it, and touched it, and laid with it, and became its property, and did its will, and it is still here, the SCP-093. It brought with it, pulled forcefully with it, built it. I don't know, they don't know, but it belongs to him. It lets him move between places, between worlds, so I broke it. I threw pieces of it away and threw holes so those doors are closed just like ours is closed and I can't go home, so what else can I do? 
It calls out through the rock, somehow. It knows where they are, but can't touch them. But if you hide the rock, he can't call out, and he's stuck too. I got you, you son of a bitch. I got you. I touched him, with my fist, and my gun, and he fell down, but he'll get back up. Soon. I'm sorry. I did all I could. Let me sleep now. Please. Let. Me. Sleep.